From the previous video, you might remember how we delved into the paradox of nice guys and their complicated relationship with sex. It's a conundrum, really. These so-called nice guys might engage in a plethora of sexual behaviors, compulsive masturbation, addiction to pornography, affairs, peep shows, cyber sex, even prostitution. Yet, ironically, many of them don't have much sex, or at least, not much satisfying sex. It's not the world that's conspiring against them, though they might like to believe otherwise. No, it's the nice guys themselves who are masters of their own undoing, proficient saboteurs of their own sex lives. You see, they're caught in a self-perpetuating cycle of dissatisfaction and disappointment, one that's often fueled by their own actions and choices. And the root of these problems? Well, they can be traced back to two fundamental issues, shame and fear. Every nice guy carries shame and fear about being sexual beings, a concept that might be difficult to accept but crucial to understand. The unconscious mind of a nice guy is riddled with memories of childhood experiences that made him feel bad, the pain of unmet needs, the guilt and shame associated with religious influence, and distorted images of bodies and sex in pornography. All these factors contribute to a deep-seated fear and shame around sex. To cope, nice guys employ a variety of avoidance and distraction mechanisms. They might avoid sexual situations and opportunities, hide compulsive sexual behaviors, or even settle for unsatisfactory sex. These tactics, while seemingly protective, only serve to deepen the shame and fear, creating a cycle of avoidance. The more they try to escape their sexual shame and fear, the more these feelings grow, leading to an unsatisfying sex life. In their attempt to avoid their sexual shame and fear, nice guys often end up avoiding sexual situations and opportunities altogether. In their quest to avoid sex, nice guys often exhibit what can be termed as vagophobia. This term describes a peculiar syndrome where, in an attempt to avoid confrontation with their deep-seated fear and shame, the nice guy's penis either tries to avoid vaginas or makes an early exit once inside. This mechanism, as peculiar as it may sound, serves as a protective shield, helping them steer clear of their intense feelings of fear and shame. Nevertheless, this avoidance strategy comes with a hefty price tag, a lackluster sex life, often devoid of any real intimacy or satisfaction. Take Alan, for instance. Alan could be the poster child for vagophobia. Despite being in a committed marriage, he found himself entangled in a web of sexualized relationships outside of his marital bond, a clear manifestation of his vagophobic tendencies. Alan's story is just one example of how vagophobia can manifest. As we continue to explore this topic in the next video, we'll delve into more such instances and their implications.